So I've already flipped this image to make a repeat pattern and I'm going to try it again but to also change the colours on it. So I'm in Pixlr, Pixlr X which is a simple editor. So I shall open up the properties over here and I'm going to make my canvas size bigger. Actually maybe if I resize the image first to make that smaller before I change the canvas size. So let's change that to, I think this is done in pixels, so let's change that to, change it to 2000. Okay, let's press apply. Hurrah. Okay, and now I'm going to make the canvas size bigger so that I can create more space behind. Let's make that 10,000. That's not too big. If it's too big, it will just take forever to save and do anything. So bear that in mind. Okay. I'm scrolling on my mouse to move out. I think that's slightly too big. I'm going to struggle. I'm just going to rechange that canvas size a bit lower. Let's put it to 8,000. By 8,000. Okay, fits on my screen nicely now. So I want to be able to move this picture that I've already made. So I'm going to go on the arrange button over here. So it will allow me to just pick it up and drag it over there. Now because I've already flipped and mirrored these, all I need to do is just create more of them. So I am going to duplicate. I'm going to hold shift as I drag it along. I'm going to duplicate again. Hold shift. Ooh. Hold shift. Drag it down that way. I'm going to duplicate that one. I'm going to hold shift as I drag it down that way. And let's see, let's do that one. So duplicate. Duplicate. Maybe I'll do another row down here. So duplicate. Shift, shift, so it doesn't move all over the place. Duplicate. And duplicate. Right, so these are all now on separate layers. So you see if I toggle it on and off, it's there. So it means that I'm going to try on these layers to change some of the colours. So I'm going to start with that one. And I've got my colour changing options here. So on adjust, you've got things like just upping saturation, brightness, standard things like that, making things black and white. On filter, it's more kind of like effects, you know, like textures and things like that. What I really want is this one, which is effect. So if I click on one of these, I've got different effects within there. So I could go for like black and white effects, or I could go for some of these more colored effects. Let's see what that does, making it brighter. Okay, so let's just choose one. See, I've put that on there, it's changed that. I'm gonna apply it. So I want to think, do I want to do that across lines? So that effect across the whole of those lines, do I want to do um, a different effect for each different one? Do I want to have diagonals? Up to you. So best thing is to just pick it and have a go. I think I'm going to try diagonals. So I'm going to click back on arrange so that I can pick up my next one and go back to effect. Ooh. What effect was that that I did? Was it food? And berry, yeah. Okay. Apply. Click back on arrange. 
pick up my next one, go back on effect, food, berry, apply. Okay, I'm going to try something different on this one. I have to click back on arrange to be able to pick up the next layer easily. Just remember that. So effect, I'm going to go on too old. And let's try Connie. Why not? Apply. Pick up the next one. Back on effect. I did too old. Connie. And let's try something different here on this one. So you can do whatever you please for this. Remember, it's your artistic choice. So this one. Mm, not sure I like that. If I don't like it, I can just press cancel. Um, let's go back on that. Maybe I want another bright one as well. Morning. Okay. So I could replicate these over there. So I could have like this one, this one, this one, and then do it that way. So actually, I'm going to do that. Put that. Can I pick up two at the same time? No. Okay. Effect. Oh, which one did I choose? What was it called? Was it on too old? Connie. No, it was different. Ah, oh, I can mirror image it though. So let's go back on this one. On that. And then I just need to find whatever one that one was. Is it on there? It's that one. Okay. So, happy with that. Need to get rid of the excess background, so I'll go and crop, fill it into the corner there, apply that, happy with that, and I will save it. So like I said beforehand, if you're on the same computer, um, every time you open Pixlr you'll see that image there anyway, but I want to save this off as a final JPEG file, let's give it a name, so house flip to and high quality and this will save it off onto my computer and then it will be ready for me to drag and drop or import into my slides to present it. Hurrah!